Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. We're at our, our daughter's house, little Linda, this morning filming because our internet is so bad at my house. So we hope that it's much better today. Yeah, we're going to try this. And um, uh, thank you, Linda, for letting yes. us barge in your house and use <laughs> your, your house for our filming. Um, but we're going to be making a buttermilk pie this morning. And because it takes no time at all to mix it up and put it in the oven. We're just going to be waiting about 30, 40 minutes for the pie to cook. So I'm going to do a blueberry banana pie too. We're going to okay. do that. So and that's like an icebox pie, it, right? Yeah. You don't cook it. You just mix it together. So you're getting double, double, um, uh, cooking this morning, so whatever. <laughs> Does it, isn't that a pie that Chuck really loves? Yes. The and blueberry. The blueberry banana pie. I remember years ago mama mama's the one mm -hmm. that, that first introduced it to me and that was back way probably in the 70s, 70s probably, probably in the 70s. 70s so it's not a new recipe it's just one that uh, it's easy simple and seemed like all the used to all the get-togethers somebody would make that you can make it in a just a regular pie pan or you can make it in like an 8 by 8 or a, or a 9 by 13 just depends on how big of a serving that you uh, meal that you're going to take it to or what use it for so and I guess if you yeah. made it in a like a eight by eight or nine by nine it would be thicker than it if would you be did thicker it in a nine it, by it's, it, what it is you just hack the recipe and for all you uh that's joined the membership uh the recipe that's posted is actually doubled what we're doing today because um it's just too big of a pie I'm just uh anyway excuses we <laughs> we thought we had it all turned off <laughs> Um, but anyway, we're going to start um, with our buttermilk pie, and uh, we're sitting at Linda's table, um, and um, we're going to... Um, Are you going to mix it? I'm going to mix it right here so you can see on the Do camera. Do you need me to get that spatula for you? You can. Uh, you know what? Also get her a whisk. It's right there in her top drawer. Okay. To, um, um, to uh, beat it up with. Yeah, I can, I can do this fine, Linda. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, uh, it, Linda, if you'll melt the me butter. a butter, uh huh, melt okay. some butter for me. I'll go ahead and put the sugar in here. We're using Imperial Fine Sugar. And um, a little bit of salt. Your little spouts broke. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of salt and a little bit of flour. And this is, um, I think, I'm not sure, but I think this recipe is Aunt Lucy's. I think this is Aunt Lucy's. It might be. Aunt Lucy's the one that used to make a lot of the, um, uh, this kind of pie. And, um, it, well, I, well, as far as that goes, Ma Lee did too, didn't she, Linda? Custard, uh, she did, yes. She made a lot of custard pies. I just stir the salt, sugar, and the, and the butter together, and then I'm going to crack the eggs. I guess I should have. <laughs> That's loud. I think this is pretty much melted, Mary. Thank you. Sorry. And the buttermilk, would you get the buttermilk yes. out, of the car, out of the refrigerator for me, Linda, please? Do you have a, a measuring cup? I have a there? measuring cup, yeah. I do, thank you. This is so simple. <laughs> okay. It's a quick pie, and it, it, uh, buttermilk pie doesn't taste like buttermilk, y'all. If you've ever um, something like an egg custard, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, you're gonna take the buttermilk? Yes. <laughs> doesn't take much. I'm Mary, um, Molly. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Ma Lee's mama, Grandma Hooper, we called her Grandma. Mm -hmm. uh, they had their own orchard. Some of y'all may have heard us say this before, but they lived in Shelby County in East Texas. And um, they had every 
holiday, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm -hmm. They had a little tiny kitchen, and they had their every bit of counter space in their pie safe was full of homemade pies. Yes, I remember that. Remember and that they, safe. They, they, they had out. all that fruit from the orchard that they made their pies with. They were real big on me, making uh, pies. Look at me. Uh, uh, the, um, vanilla? Major, yeah. This is vanilla. i got to put some vanilla in this. The, the pie crust. Um, is that what you want? Yeah, thank you. Um, I baked it for 10 minutes. You're, a custard pie, you don't normally, you don't normally uh, bake the crust. You, um, you put it in there, not baked, but I baked my pie crust for about 10 minutes. You can leave it over here, Linda. Okay. You, um, because I don't like a pie that when you cut into the pie, the bottom of the crust is doughy. It's, it's I, not totally I don't know totally if it's done. just me or what. No, I love blind baking mine too. I do. So, what do you call that? Blind, blind bacon. bacon. Yeah, that's blind new, bacon. I didn't. I didn't know that. I just know that. <laughs> so, okay. uh, so w since Grandma Huffer always had a lot of pies, it was natural for us from all league to have a lot of pies at mm -hmm. our uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas right. um, um, meals. And uh, I mean, just literally pies all over the place. This is what it looks. I'm pouring it in the shell. Oh, I had the butter in there. <laughs> I was going to remind you. Thank you. Um, so when Grandma Hooper was a little girl, and that's our great-grandmother, Molly's mother. She was a little bitty woman. Um, when she was a little girl, they lived in Peoria, Illinois, and they come in a covered wagon and settled in I've, Shelby County, Texas. I've heard Mama tell that story. And you know what? She came with her, um, her what do you call that, her chest? Her um, hope chest? Hope ch it's that ch cedar chest. Okay. And uh, it's, um, I, I think Mama said that's the same one. That you have that, that I chest. have, yeah. It's, um, it's a cedar chest uh, that it's, that they, Brought, brought all their belongings in it, you know, on, in a covered wagon. It's and in good shape, too, Linda. I imagine it, it, is. I mean, it was probably made really yeah. well. I'm sure good somebody wood. made it in the family. Uh, Grandma Hooper died when I was in the seventh grade, so I remember her I real do too. well. I do, too. Would you get me some nutmeg, please? Yes. All right. Linda, your table's wide. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to pour it. Or this buttermilk pie. I, I like buttermilk pies because I like custard pies. Mary, I may have got too much. That's okay. I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. That's okay. I need a, a, a spatula, please. Sorry. Thank you. That's I'm okay. That, that, stuff uh, moving stuff that risk here. Will get, don't get all of it out. Now you told me not to wash this because we're going to use it again. I sure did. We're going to use that bowl again for the butter. We're trying to do this here instead of in the cabinet in there um, because um, of you being able to see us better. But we'll move into the kitchen just a minute. I'm just sprinkling some nutmeg on top. Well, it won't come out. <laughs> I may have put too much in there. That's all right. Are you going to put that down in a pan, or are you going to put it in the oven like that? I'm just going to put it in the oven like that. Okay. All right, Linda, if you'll follow me. I really should have sprinkled that a little bit better, that nutmeg. You know what? <laughs> kind of like a baby. <laughs> Be real careful. <laughs> Lord, where's my hands now? <laughs> now I'm going to wash this bowl because I'm going to use the same I'll, bowl. I'll do that, Mary. That's I'll okay. Do, no, I can do that. Uh, I'm just going to wash this bowl. Get the detergent out of here. You're done with the. Huh? With the you're done with that nutmeg and stuff, right? With what? You're done with the nutmeg and all that. I am. Thank you. You're welcome. 
just gonna wash this bowl and use it to beat up the cream cheese. And uh, Linda, the, uh, to do the uh, to do the um, crust for the um, for the blue Melt some butter. yeah, get some butter, please. Okay. Um, uh, it's in the butter tray right there. <laughs> Flavors in there. <laughs> um, uh, let me look at your recipe here. Uh, it's over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're kind of out of our element this morning with mm -hmm. uh, Feminine at Linda's house, but we're hacking this. We're hacking this recipe because okay. we're only going to do half of it. So, uh. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, put the cream cheese in there. And uh, now get your mixer. And you want this all the way melted, right, Mary? Yes, please. We're going to do, that's a graham cracker crust. Um, Linda, did you want me to go back to the table to do this? However you want to. I'm just going to cream this, uh, this whip, this, uh, cheese, cream cheese. Start getting it a little soft. Oh, I, I remember uh, something. That graham cracker crust um, supposed to be cool before you put this in here because it uh, it's it wants to pull the graham cracker cr crust up. Okay, I'm, I'm going to cut this off. And uh, Get the get the measuring cup. Oh, you already have it over there. You have the. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. Just go ahead and, and make some dishes. So I mean, you are, that's Am what I, you're doing. Is this right in here? It doesn't seem like the water is staying like in there. Up, is it? No, that's why. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Well, we're we're needing to wash something as we go. There it is, Linda. That was the disposal side. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should have asked. Okay. All right. Okay. Graham cracker crumbs. Here they are. A little bit out of our element this morning, but but we're we're making do. I, I, you can take graham crackers and 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 mash them up if you want to, but it, it's a lot to me. It's a lot easier to just buy them. To all buy the done. Crumb, yeah. To buy and the we crumbs. got some when we went to Town Talk a couple of weeks we ago. We sure too. did. Yes, you probably I, forgot about this. I didn't forgot you? about it and went and bought this. <laughs> You're right. I uh, forgot. And that reminds me. I think I got a bag of rice at my house. at yours. I was. Well, I thought I'd give it all away, nope. Linda. <laughs> I was I'm giving everybody I'll I came to. I'll weigh it out tomorrow and give it to you because I, when I opened that bag, I said, I didn't get two bags of rice. I got one for Miranda, but I got one to bring home, and I wound up with two, yeah. so it's yours. Well, I, I was everybody I'd go see, I would give them a sack of rice. It's the best rice. It's parboiled. Yeah, it is so good until I was, um, I was giving it away. When I got home, I said, I guess I give all my rice away. <laughs> I just happened to get home with the bag that had both bags in it, yeah. but I'll give it to you tomorrow. But we just melt butter and... Um, Mary, did we need to set a timer for that pie? Um, it would be good, yeah. So the timer, timer. There's a timer on here on the stove. It's already been cooking about five minutes. Probably. Okay, do it about 35 minutes. We'll check it in 35 minutes. It smells so good in here. Oh, Linda, she's big on, on candles. Be on the other side. Oh, start. Thank you. Everybody's stove is different, and uh, you just have to get used to it. I finally, I think I've got Linda's down down to where I can work it. 
it, it took me months to get to figure out how to do her microwave. It's totally uh, different from mine. And Linda's is different too. Yeah. You didn't have no problem with the microwave. No, this morning, I didn't did have you? any problem at all. Okay. Now I'm gonna wash my hands you again. You need that little uh, spatula, probably, don't you? Uh, no, uh, I'm gonna do it with my hands. But you're gonna need it to get these blueberries out. Yes, I will. Yes, I will, Linda. Uh, and then um, I've just mashed that um, those graham crackers and butter down into there, and you don't have to cook it. Uh, trust me, it will be hard once it gets cold. On it, you really and truly are supposed to um, cool this off because this butter is hot. You're really supposed to cool this crust before you put the filling in it. Um, it trust me, it makes a difference because it, I, I'm kind of wondering whether what to do myself this morning. I should have already had this crust made, I guess. Um, well, you mentioned that, Mary, and that was my fault because no, I that's told okay. you to wait and show them. But, this um, crust, it's still soft, and when we start to put that cream cheese on it, uh, it'll pull the crust up with the cream cheese. So what we're having... Uh, well, we can let it set out a few we minutes. We can let it set out we, a few minutes. We can go back in there and talk and yeah. let it set out. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll just mix... I am. I'm gonna stick it in the freezer. Uh, we can make the we can make the filling because once the filling gets made, all it is is putting it all together. It it's so real simple. So what do you simple. want me to do as um, far as the filling is uh, concerned? Check the recipe and do the filling. I think it. Uh, you put powdered sugar in. Okay. Powdered sugar in with the um, um, the cream cheese. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. I wash my hands and I'm gonna put this in your freezer, Linda. Okay. okay. Uh, so, the filling is is um, all it is is vanilla, um, cream cheese, and powdered sugar. And you said we're half in it, right? We're yes. half in the recipe. Yes. Yes, please. Because that was just too much. That big, that nine by thirteen was just too big. Okay. Uh, I like these bowls, don't you, Mary? I love those bowls. Yes, I do. They're very lightweight. Yes. So you need the flavoring in there now, don't you? Probably. Yes. I'll move all this out of the way. Everything in there. Okay, that's okay. I told me not to. I um. Linda doesn't cook as much as we do, and we have two sets of everything. <laughs> so, well, I don't see it. It's. Well, no, that's not it over there. All right, that's okay. Just pour a little bit in there. <laughs> Just put a little flavor in. Okay, I think, I think we got it now. Okay, here, let me get you. Okay. There. All right. So. But this should be half that, right? Yes, yes. All right. Um, let me get, oh, the, the, the major spoon I was looking for is over here <laughs> on the table. Is 
that everything in here? That's it. Now, um, we can, um, you know what, Linda, do you have a bowl? We can go ahead and do the cool whip. Uh, yes. I can get it. Right here? Right here. Are we going to whip the cool whip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is fine. Right here. brought half and half. I thought I had cool whip. Will this whip? This won't whip. It really. won't. No, it <laughs> won't. Well, well, well. Well, I brought the same. I had a container of whipping cream and a container of half and half. And that's, I, that's real easy to do. And I grabbed, it, I grabbed it out of the uh, well, we, we refrigerator. Don't. That's okay. We're not going to put no... We just won't put any on, put it. None on it. <laughs> but you can put cool whip or whipping cream on this. But like I said, I left the whipping cream at home and brought the half and half. Uh, uh, I'm not used to gathering up everything and bringing it <laughs> over here. So I, we can just sit down a few minutes, Linda, and, okay. uh, and talk so, and wait and let that, let that crust cool off a little bit. Do we want to put this in the refrigerator, Mary, or do you think you, it's okay sitting out? I, I want it sitting out because if it gets you hard, we won't be able hard. to spread okay. it. It's not going to It's not gonna ruin it. We're going to have it out long. Okay. So um do we Just have any on that pie do we have any questions or anybody anybody got any maybe. questions that we can maybe answer okay um the first one is they want to know where i got the mat but you bought it for me so mom you can call okay me. you may need to repeat it because i don't know if okay it. somebody was wanting to know where linda got her mat in front of her kitchen I bought it, but you got to give me a minute to <laughs> where I bought it. <laughs> well, you got ours at, where'd you get ours at Walmart or Target? And ours aren't like that. No. Um, Probably TJ Maxx. I got yours, one of them, I got yours at two different places because they didn't have what I wanted. I, I got two different sizes for you. Right. Um, I bought one of them at Walmart and one of them um, somewhere else. I don't remember. Target, but I'm pretty sure I got that at Walmart, Linda, yours, the one in, in your kitchen. I'm pretty sure I got it at Walmart, and trust me, they did not have no more. They sold out so fast because I was thinking about buying me one, one bag, and it was gone. They did not, and they never had you any more. You see it, you better grab it. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I got it at Walmart a long time ago. <laughs> um, the other, another question is, can you make this ahead of time and freeze? At, okay, you want to know if we can freeze that, um, uh, the pie, the blueberry pie, the blueberry banana pie. Um, I don't see why not. I wouldn't put the Cool Whip on it. But, it, uh, uh, you know, I wouldn't do that. You can use just regular Cool Whip out of the container, or you can do the whipping cream. I don't, you know what? You can freeze whipping cream, can't you? Um, Y'all are bigger on freezing than I am. Yeah. Since this has got bananas. Oh, and, that's uh, right, bananas. We'll and it's bananas got in uh, it. cream cheese in it. I wouldn't freeze I don't personally. think I would either. I don't think it will. it's so quick. But it they can so make fast. it ahead of time and put it in the refrigerator. Right, right. Right. Now, what you could do, I mean, like the day before, do that crust and let it get hard because whenever you start to um, slice your your um, pie, like I said, you could put that in a pie plate too. Um, that crust is very, it's hard. It's hard. And so you want it to be hard. It, right. It's hard just it like a crust. It cuts better. It cuts yeah. better. So do the crust a little bit ahead of time. Put just it's nothing in it that's gonna hurt. Leave it on the counter if you're doing it at the same same time. But the refrigerator will get it hard quicker. And then just put your which we haven't done yet. You put your um, uh, cream cheese and then you put your a layer of bananas and then you put your blueberry. You can use blueberry pie filling. That's what my kids always like was blueberry pie filling. But you can put strawberry, cherry, cherry whatever, and then put Cool Whip on top. So just, you do whatever you can ahead of time as much as you can, at least I do. And that, um, that brings up something too, um, with the holidays around the corner and they will be here before we know it. In fact, it'll be January 1st yes. before we can bat, bat, bat an eye. Um, the first thing that you do when you're going to be cooking, whether you're cooking for your immediate family and you want to make a real special meal, or you're cooking for a group like, like we do a lot, first thing you want to do is make a menu. Yes, that's right. And then after you make a menu, then you're going to make a grocery list. Mm -hmm. And everything that can be done mm -hmm. ahead of time mm -hmm. can be done um, 
it, uh, before the day of because right. believe me you'll be in the kitchen and you'll be having things to do at the last minute that has to be done at the last minute. I do that every year. As a matter of fact, I don't ever get rid of them books and there was them notebooks. Every once in a while I go back and I said, well, that was last year. That's what I was planning last year. And, <laughs> and, the, and the ingredients and what I do have and what I don't have, I circle if I've got it and add it to my grocery list if I don't. And matter of fact, I've done started uh, one of those road make containers. I've started taking everything with out of my pantry that I was going to use for the holidays that I, I use a lot of cream of chicken soup, a lot of mushroom, cream of mushroom soup. I use Rotel tomatoes. I use canned milk and just things like that that I know I'm going to use. I put them in a container and then when I start baking, I just get that container out and pull them out because my pantry, I just, I'm trying to cull down my pantry. <laughs> Y'all hear us talk a lot about, um, of course, Ma and Paul Lee and Pinky Ma and Pinky Paul, but you also hear us talk about Aunt Linda and, Aunt Linda and Uncle Jesse. And um, I remember when we were kids, we were there um, two weeks prior to Karen, our cousin, before she was born. But I remember Ma Lee talking about, I think we must have went up there one year for Thanksgiving, and this is in Fayetteville, Arkansas, which was quite a ways from East Texas back mm -hmm. in the day. Yeah. And I know, I remember, like, Molly was sitting right here talking to us. I remember exactly what she said. What did she say, Linda? She, she said, she said the first thing, Linda Joyce, which was her daughter-in-law, first thing she'll do will be make a menu. I Is remember that, right? that, Is that so right? well. Yes, I, I do. don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that, but I do that, but I do it for my own good, you know? Right. And, uh, and when you're making dressing, I mean, you can make that dr cornbread. You can put that, uh, make it ahead of time and freeze, freeze it. it. And, and then and you've got that made. And that takes the longest when you're making dressing, except for cooking it. And cornbread crumbles so much easier when, when it's, it's cold, cold than when it's hot. Yeah. yeah. It's just a lot of things that uh, you just do, you prepare ahead of time. One of our followers at Medicine, Burke Burnett, uh, that had lunch with us, uh, she said, thanks to y'all, I've done got my Christmas shopping done. <laughs> We just, we're a planner. Cause yeah, we I, love to plan. That's what I told Brother Boatman Sunday when we was having our meeting about our um, bazaar. I said, I'm just a planner. I can't, that is just, I, I got to know everything that's going to go on and who's going to do it. So I just, I'm just a planner. I just have to if I'm in charge of it. So, but. Um, More questions? Yeah, we have quite a few today. What kind of rice were you talking about earlier? Oh, it was per per <coughs> asked the question. Oh, Making the kind question. of rice that we lo our favorite kind of rice that we cook is per par 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 It flakes. It it's not sticky. Uh, I cook it. Uh, I, I put it all in there at the same time. I put the water. Uh, I put the uh, twice as much water and half and half the rice. Right. And boil it for twenty minutes. Put the lid on it. When it comes to a boil, put a lid on it. Boil it for twenty minutes, and then it's, it's it flakes. It does. It's never sticky. You never turn the sticky. burner down. After. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Turn it down once it comes to a boil. You turn the burner down. And we get this rice at yeah. a place in Fort Worth, and I'm sure you can buy it <laughs> other places. But it's it's a place in Fort Worth called Town Talk. It's on North Beach Street. We've shopped there for years. Oh, it's yeah. kind of like a kind of like a surplus warehouse, grocery yeah. store. And we went there before it got really big and well right. known. But um, uh, we and they they uh, bag stuff up in bulk. It, yeah, just and big so, bags. And we buy it. And we I buy them. a lot of it because they ran out there for a while. They was out of it. But um, yeah, we went to this place when they first opened. That it was, was like that one little room. Linda was well. We're not when uh, Linnell and I uh, had that Pinky Mouse pie Pride shop. Pie shop. Um, that was in the 70s. Yeah. It was in the a 70s. A long time ago. 80s? 80s? Okay, let's say. That's right. You were six years old. And you was born in 79. So it was, uh, yeah, it was in the early 80s. And they had just started this warehouse. Yeah. And they worked with us. Remember? Yes. They worked with us we could, buying it. We called them up. We bought it. cornstarch 10 they'd cents a pound. They'd save it for us. And, uh, but now it's gotten much bigger and much crowded her. <laughs> I'd get it for mama, cornstarch, yeah. 100 pound sack, I'd yeah. get it for $10. Yeah, we buy a lot of uh, containers there. We buy a lot of containers. Any other questions, Linda? Yes, we have quite a few today, actually. Okay. Um, how do you keep the rim of your pie crust from burning? Oh, well, I usually put a rim over it. 
uh, would a pie come be the question? Okay, I'm sorry. Are pies to keep the rim from burning or browning too much uh, when you're cooking a pie, especially pecans and even custard pies? I have these rims. You can buy them at the Walmart. We use pepper shell. Oh, pepper shell. And if you don't have them, they can use foil. Yes. They can put strips of foil around them. Just around the edge of the crust. And that reminds me, I did not bring one of those uh, <laughs> rims with me today. Let me check the pie. Give me a foil. It's in that long. Okay. And pampered chefs comes one to a package. Um, you know, they're real, real lightweight, but they're very easy to put over a pie. And the reason I like them is because they're a little bit bigger than the pie, Mary. So yeah. um, pampered chefs is so you don't have to worry about it messing up your pie crust, the edges of it. I'm gonna put next it, question. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, they want to know. Okay, so um, I'm glad I can answer this one. I wasn't sure that I could. Um, okay, they asked who, whose house are we at? Uh, we're at Little Linda's house, and uh, we were here today because Mary had problems with... <laughs> Mary had problems. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> You're rattling this, rattling this foil paper. She's got it right on her mic. <laughs> Mary had problems with her internet the other day, so we're we're at Little Linda's today. What we're doing, I'm doing, I've got foil and I'm twisting it up, and this is what I'm going to put around that pie. <laughs> okay, next question. The second one, people want to know how I am. Oh, she's really good. Thank y'all for asking. Y'all ask how was Little Linda. She's so much better today. Um, the second one is more of a comment. They said Town Talk now has a second. Okay, the Town Talk does have a set, second location. I believe it's in Weatherford. Um, if I'm not oh, mistaken, they do. Yes, it's they in do. Weatherford. Yes, they do. Now, if they have another one, I'm not sure, but I, I do I've know been they to have that one in Weatherford. Weatherford. Mary's Weatherford. been to it, Mary and Linnell. Um, they, uh, Trevor Pearson wanted to know how many people are commenting that they love your tops and Okay, so everybody wants to know where we got our tops, and thank you for asking. And thank you for complimenting. Um, these are Dillard's. It's Allison Daly brand. Um, there's two or three brands at Dillard's that we really like, but Allison Daly is one of them. Um, so if you don't have a Dillard's store in your location, I think you can order online, if I'm not mistaken. If you want to know about how these run as far as size, Allison Daly usually runs a little big, doesn't it, Mary? Yeah, yeah. Runs a little big, so you can kind of... Uh, tell that as far as what your size is. Don't order up, you know, because they do run just a little bit large. So last question, several people are wanting to know where your new website is. Our new website, um, people have asked where our new website is, and it is www.pinkymallskitchen.com. If you go to our old website, there's a pop-up that if you click on it, it will take you to our new website. And the, we, we love our new website. One of the things that we love about it is because um, it has the icons, the um, social media icons. It has Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If you go down just a little ways from when you first on logged first on, page. on mm -hmm. the first page, mm -hmm. you'll see the little blue circle with an F in it. That's the Facebook icon. If you click on that, it will take you straight to our Facebook page. You don't have to worry if you're on the right page, if you're following the real us, <laughs> you know. If you're on, if you're on, the, if you're on the, our if you go on our website, it will be us if you click on, yeah. that, on yeah. that icon. Now, uh, YouTube, we haven't been uploading any videos on it in three months. It's been three months since we put it in on YouTube. We're fixing to start putting some on YouTube. And so once you click on that little YouTube symbol, which has got the little V in the middle, that's the one that goes to YouTube. If you click on that, it will take you to our, our videos on, on um, YouTube. But we, like I said, we haven't been posted on YouTube in a while. But we're going to yes, fix and start. It is one that. of our priorities. And we... We do plan to have uh, new videos on that and some of our old ones on that very, very soon. Right, right. So any other questions? I got the pie covered up. 
several people want to see it when you pull okay. it out. I don't want to see the foil. Okay. 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 Um, now the you used a regular Pyrex um, pie dish for this. I pie. used Pyrex uh, pan for this. Now, if you use pampered shelf one, it's deep. You would have to you'd have to make more filling, and right. you would have to bake it longer. Oh, I forgot to turn the burner down. <laughs> now, if you're if you're um, cooking for a big crowd, and you want to bake two of the same pie, say you were baking two of the same pie. Um, you would do probably, uh, Mary, correct me if I'm wrong, but say you were making two buttermilk pies or two egg custards and you want to um, increase your recipe, um, I think you would probably do two and a half times the recipe, right, Mary, for two pies? Yes. So if you, say you want to make two buttermilk pies, you've got uh, lots of guys that love buttermilk pies because it reminds them of their mother or their grandmother. Um, our guys love pies. Mm -hmm. Charles and mm -hmm. uh, Edward both love pies. So if you wanted to make two, you would take the recipe that's on our membership page and you would uh, do two and a half times the recipe and that would make two of the, of the deep dish, Pampered Chef deep dish pie pans, uh, nice, nice pies. Yeah, two if you want to make two of them, yeah. It, uh, it just takes, that deep dish takes more yes, than does. a regular aluminum or Pyrex pan. So I felt that out the first time I made, I made the pumpkin, that pumpkin, uh, apple butter pumpkin pie that I made. The first one I made, I made it with the, just a regular recipe. And when I poured it in that deep dish pan, I said, that ain't enough of pie filling. <laughs> so I just went over and done a half of another filling uh, no, and, and, and put it in it. Yeah. Um, do do we have any more questions, Linda? No. Or comments? Uh, not that I. It's hard to catch up. But. Okay. Um, do do we want to go ahead and do the bananas? And yeah, the, let's go ahead and, and the, finish um, that. Let's go ahead and finish the blueberry banana pie. You want to bring it in here, or you I can because it's not. No, it's going to be simple. I'll help you. It can. It's going to be need simple. bananas, right? Yeah. Just how many? Uh, well, on this one, it probably won't take over three. Of these here? Yeah, yeah, just get These are big bananas. That, I know it. Uh, um, it may not take but two. Okay, I'm going to get two because okay. they do look pretty big. Okay. And, and I'm going to get the... Linda's freezer is not quite as full as mine, but it's almost. <laughs> but this is good and cold now, so this crust should not shouldn't come up from the uh, from the pie when I put this this is a powdered sugar and cream cheese so are we gonna stand here or we're we gonna go well, in there I don't know uh, we can go to the table okay. it's you can see better do you have a spat you got the spatula right I got the spatula I'm just gonna get the blueberry just gonna spread and you can see how it just spreads over that if you'd have tried to put this cream cheese on this crust before it got hard, it would have picked that crust right up off the plate. It would have just, it would, it just wouldn't, have, the crust wouldn't have stayed up on here. How do you want these sliced, Mary? Do you want them sliced? I kind of slice them. Or add them at a uh, diagonal? No, just straight, just straight across. Make them kind of thick. If you're going to eat a bit banana, buy the banana, I want to buy the banana, not just taste. Okay. That's just me. But. You can do them thin if you want to. You know, so about your three preference. quarters of an inch thick. Yeah, that's that looks fine. Right, yeah, make it maybe get them thicker than that. That's okay. That's fine. I gotta get you one of them little little spatulas, Linda. Do you have one? The little tiny one. Okay. Well, like this is the only one I seen. This one has that little dip in it, you know? Yeah. I like that one. But I like those little tiny ones. The little skinny ones. Yes. Right? You're talking about the skinny ones. I like them. Maybe I don't think you have one, Linda. Yeah. I'll have to get you one because it's just uh, perfect. To, it's flat. That will work. That will work. That it, it, that one's just like the one I like, except that mine's a little. You, there's one smaller than this, the same size. 
I mean the same flat like this. Yeah. This one has the dip in it. Now you can tell me if you need another one. Okay. I was careful with your table when I wasn't. I'm not worried about that. I don't want any furniture. I can't live on. If I can't put my feet on it, I don't want it. I, after I started <laughs> cutting, I thought I should have got a mat to cut that on. No. I like this. She likes these high chairs. chairs. Okay. You could hold that for me, please. I just like a little bit getting all this out of here. So you put all of it on there at one time? And yes. Put, put yes. The bananas. And yes. Just layer it. It's just Which layered. is on top? The blueberry? Uh, actually, the blueberry and then the cream cheese, then the whipping. Whip oh, and, oh, okay. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But we don't have no whipping cream to go. <laughs> it's thanks to me. So there is a difference in half and half and heavy whipping cream. It is. I and know there's that. also a whipping cream. So... Yep. We use heavy whipping cream. Yes, that's we do. what I keep stocked yeah. in my refrigerator. And that's what I got. I got a quart of it in the refrigerator. And I was wanting to use it. <laughs> and I know there's store brands. Uh, Walmart has the store brand. And then Land of Lakes is the name brand. But what I buy is Kroger's because Kroger's has a longer date on it and, and it's cheaper than Land of Lakes. Yeah. And I like it better than I do the Walmart store brand. I'm sorry that I do. I'm not sorry. But, um, but the half and half and the heavy whipping cream are in the same containers. Yeah. So be careful when you're getting it and make sure you do get the whipping cream. Uh, half and half won't whip, I'll tell you. You can try it all day long, but it won't yeah. whip. I had, I had bought that. I was making, um, what was I making with that half and half? It was something I was making. I forgot what it was. S some sauce. It was some sauce. Okay. But I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> and I ate it just the other day. All right. And I'm just going to clean most of this off. And we can put the... <laughs> we scrape our stuff, y'all. We're, we're not the food network. We scrape our bowls. That's how Molly I know. taught us. To... I, I've seen a few of them shows, and they leave half the stuff in the cans. They do. All right. Would you give me a fork, please? Yes. So I can pick up the bananas. Right here. Oh, here. You got pretty silverware, Linda. Mm -hmm. Okay. These bananas, you just can't. Uh, they're so hard to get them just right. Did know? I not? Did I not? No, slice them no. Green? The slicing's fine. I'm talking about hard. Oh, the green. Whether or not they're right. Yes. It's the right yes. stage. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It used to be when I was baking and selling. Um, I'd have people call me and they want, I made these huge banana puddings and I only sold them for $20. And I mean, they were huge. Yeah. And uh, they would call me and tell me they wanted, it's funny because they always say, um, I want to place an order and uh, not anything special. <laughs> then they would tell me about a cake they wanted that took about two or three days to make. <laughs> And then they would tell me, oh, and can you make me a couple of those large banana puddings? And when do you want it? Tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. <laughs> no can do. Sorry. Yeah. I buy bananas ahead of time when I had an order, and then I would make sure right. they were at the right, right. stage. I'm going to need another banana, Linda. Okay. I was pretty sure, because I, I used five on the big one. And that's the thing about cooking, you know, you and having a stock pantry. Now, I don't keep bananas on a regular basis. I do buy them from time to time, but fruit will ruin on you. Yeah. So, unless you've got kids that are eating bananas a lot, or unless you eat bananas a lot, um, you um, you need to buy them ahead of time if you're going to make something with right. bananas so they can get at the right ripening stage. You don't want them overripe unless you're making banana bread, but you don't want them... Um, you don't want them green. Either. And you can cut these bananas what, however thick you want them. I'm sure I didn't cut them like you would have no, cut that's them. That's okay. They certainly aren't the same size. That's okay. <laughs> I may need another. I, I tell you what. I don't know if I need you to cut another or not. If you do, there's only going to be. Um, I'll cut another one if you want it. Cut it in half. Cut it in half. Please. We need about three more. We need about... Three or four more. Well, just, just, yeah. Oops. Okay. 
and, and like I said, uh, your preference about how thick you do these bananas. I just, if I'm going to eat a banana, a, a piece of banana, well, I kind of like enough. Cut that one one way. I, I don't know. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Maybe this would have probably all been the same size. No, no, they wouldn't. Have. They're fine, Linda. And then... Blueberry pie filling, you buy it in the store, or you can make your own with fresh blueberries and just make it like a pie filling. Um, but I just bought, this is why this is so quick. It's because I buy it in the store, and uh, you can do cherry or um, blueberry or uh, cherry blueberry, strawberry, whatever you want. My, my kids always like the blueberry with the bananas. Spread it over. That's a beautiful pie. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to eat a piece of it or not. <laughs> All the tempting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then you put your, your whipping cream or your Cool Whip on top, and it makes a pretty pie. And I'm sorry that I messed up, brought the wrong stuff stuff this morning. And Mary, um, I don't know, everyone may not know this, but heavy whipping cream is not sweet. No, it's not. I put powdered sugar in it. So if you want right. it sweet, you have to add powdered sugar yes. to it. It's just, and it's not going to really have much taste to no. it. No. Mm -mm. Just um, a little bit of powdered sugar in it and too. put vanilla in yeah. it. Yeah. So keep that in mind if you think, well, you know, this just, it just blah, it doesn't taste right. That's because it it has to have some stuff added to it. Okay. And that's your blueberry banana pie. Very easy. If you put it in a clear bowl like this so you can see it has layers and then, of course, the white Cool Whip or whipping cream on top, just makes a pretty dessert. It's really, really quick and simple. It's a good thing to have on a Sunday whenever you get up on Sunday mornings and fix a little dessert. And it that's just goes beautiful. in the refrigerator. That's so. beautiful. And how many pieces would you cut this in? Uh, I would do well, one, two, three, three, six, probably about nine, ten, depending yeah, on how, depending how, how, big how big you want it. But you want. See, one, two, three, three or four this way. Well, it's the same size. So, one, two, three. That'd be a pretty good size. You could actually That's a pretty probably good, get 12 servings. Yeah, you out could of if, this. if you didn't cut them quite so big. So you want to put it in the refrigerator? Pre please do, please. And uh, we'll check our pie. I think it's got five minutes, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be done or not. To tell whether a custard pie is done, you stick a, a knife in the center of it. It comes out clean. It's done because you don't want to cook it in there so long until it, it gets hard. It'll get hard. It's kind of like a pecan pie. You ha it's, a little, it's a little, little bit jiggly, jiggly. In the middle. just a little bit. I'm sorry, I walked in front of you. Oh, that's all right. And Mary, what, if they cook it too long, doesn't that cause it, the top to crack? It will, it will, it will. So you may be intimidated the first time you cook one of these, which are the simplest pie in the world. Yeah, they're, they're real um, simple. But you just don't want to overcook it. Right. And if you've ever, if beginners have ever cooked pecan pie and wonder why it was so hard you couldn't get it out of the pie pan is because you overcooked it. <laughs> now, y'all don't like my foil. <laughs> I could have done a whole lot better if I'd have had it on the counter, but I was bending over a hot oven trying to place it. I didn't want to take it out of the oven because I didn't want to mess up the cooking, you know, uh, the consistency of the cooking. So I put that foil around there the best I could with it in the oven. So it's been in there, what, about 35 minutes? Yeah. It may ha we may have to cook it longer. Ooh, it, it looks, looks like done, it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't tell y'all, but I turned it on 350, and it's supposed to cook it for 10 minutes, then turn it down to 325. Okay. Do you want me to hold it? Oh, it's still pretty shaky. It's still pretty there. shaky. Yeah. I let's think, let's yeah. give it a few more minutes. Uh, we can just talk a few more minutes. Probably maybe 10 minutes. I think. Don't you think about 10 minutes? Uh, I'm on time yeah. for 10. Minutes. I think so. so it, it doesn't, it needs to be a little shaky, but it doesn't need yeah. to be a lot shaky right. in the middle. And your timer. Uh, I'm learning your stove, Linda. What are you trying to do? I've got the timer. I, I accidentally went 12 minutes. That's okay, isn't it? 
I mean, it did. I hit. I hit start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I guess we'll come back over here. Okay. Um. So I also uh, I have to get my stove fixed before Christmas. So I told Chuck. Chuck said, "Mom, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out there and pull your stove out and get that number off of it." Uh, some people told me to take a picture of the phone. I can see. Is it come loose? I think I lost my. Uh oh. <laughs> your mic. Here it is. <laughs> um. Anyway, I took my phone and on the. On the oven tray at the bottom is um, it's got some numbers and stuff. I took a picture of it with my phone, and that's not the number. Uh, I was hoping I hadn't dropped it in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> These mics, we tr and sometimes they're a pretty big pain. What would we do with that little window? I know. Thank you. Okay, so did we get any more questions? <laughs> You can't, you can't watch the, the you said you wanted it to time or 10 minutes, please. I think I did the timer wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, thank you. Um, so we still haven't decided yet where we're having Thanksgiving at. We're going to have it at Mary's house or my house, and we got to decide we, in the I next know. week. I know. So we can start... Uh, uh, one thing, so we'll know who's going to be there. Right, we can start right. planning on. I know my granddaughter. Have. I know my granddaughter Shelly says she's coming, but she said, I mean, she's coming in November. Um, but you don't know. But I don't know. I don't think she'll be coming Thanksgiving because her husband's um, family has Thanksgiving at their house, and I, that's just a tradition for them. Yeah. And I don't want to mess up that. No. Uh, um, are they going to come in November and come back Christmas too? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Shelly. You know Shelly. She'll, yeah. <laughs> she'll come whenever she needs it. She's coming. We're giving her uh, my husband's old truck that's been sitting there for thirteen years, and um, we. I just want it out of off my yard. It doesn't run, and she knows that. But she wants to fix it up. And I told was her, her yeah. yeah. And I told her, I said, Shelly, we can sell the parts off of it. It's a 67, 1967. I said, we can sell the parts off of it. And she said, Memo, please don't sell the parts off of it. She said she wanted it. Hey, it's a I Ford. couldn't remember what kind it's of It's a Ford. It still has a, it has a, a air condition in it. And, and when it's, when it, we parked it, the air condition worked. I mean, it's. He it's, used it with his brick laying, yeah. right? Well, no, he didn't. He did. that was he got that after he after he after retired, retired from yeah. bricklaying. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so she says she's gonna come. They're gonna come and get that, and uh, I'm gonna give her my old dining room table. And I'm just my my son said, "Mama, you got more than just one granddaughter. <laughs> Have you asked any of the others if they wanted any of that stuff? Because I'm giving her several things." I said, "They don't want it." You know, it's Shelly. She is very sentimental. She's very sentimental. My husband bricked, he was a bricklayer, and he bricked the mailbox in front of our house, you mm -hmm. know. And um, and she said, Memo, what's going to happen to that mailbox? <laughs> I said, Shelly, you can't have that you mailbox. Can't you can't have She said, but Papa built that mailbox. I said, I'm sorry, darling, that mailbox, you can't move that mailbox. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so we have any more uh, comments or they questions? Know if you're going to do any more meet and greets, are we going to do any more meet and greets? Um, Mary, you can answer, and then I'll put my two cents worth okay. in. Well, we're looking. We've been looking. Little Linda has been calling around some places that's not far from us. I'm talking about from now between now and the end of the year, um, and they're quite expensive to 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 rent a place to have a meet and greet. So then the only way we can do that is to be a small fee just to pay for the place, to, you know, to do the meet and greet. So we don't know yet. We're still checking. We would love to. We as we have several options. We could go down to just have a small group, but then 
We got people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area said that if we had one in Longview, they would come. Well, you're talking about a lot more people than 25 or 30. Right. And so one place was quite expensive just for a few hours for 30 people. So we just, we don't want to, we don't really want to charge so much that you're not able to come. So we're still thinking. Go ahead. Um, we have, um, um, we've had over the last year, year and a half, we've had several churches contact us. Um, I know there's one in Indiana, and there's also one in Tennessee mm -hmm. that wants us to come. And this would be sometimes probably in the spring of next year. And one in Ohio. Um, oh, and one in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, we kind of, you know, we went to Boaz um, in February, and we enjoyed that immensely. But we've tried to, with the COVID and everything that's been going on, we've tried to, um, I guess, we want to be respectful of y'all, and we, and of course, we don't want to c catch anything either. So uh, that's kind of just been placed on the back burner, along with a lot of other stuff. But uh, we would love to have one in East to. Texas. Not to be selfish, but it would be a lot easier on us for y'all to come close to where we it are. It wouldn't be so much expense. See, we wouldn't have to rent a hotel. We wouldn't have to be traveling. And that's expense that we'd have to cover if we traveled. So yeah. having it around here, we wouldn't have that expense. Right. And, just and it's, it's not all about money, but the thing about it, it takes money it takes to money. operate. And mm -hmm. um, we are, you know, we don't, we're not bankrolled. So we don't have a large corporation backing us like some people might think that we're getting rich off of this. We're getting rich off of that. We, I don't know how many t comments I've read that they sell baked goods. We do not sell baked no. goods. We have it for a long time. No. Uh, we don't have time to do that. And the other thing is, Mary, uh, one of the reasons that I stopped selling baked goods, um, I was, when I first started the Home Cottage Bakery, what, four years ago? Mm -hmm. I was getting a case of cake boxes. I used the tall ones because I had to for my cakes. Um, I was paying $75, 80 $80 for, 25, for a case which had 25 boxes in them. The last time I went to order cake boxes, which was about, I don't know, last summer sometimes, the same boxes that I paid seventy-five or eighty dollars for were over three hundred dollars. Wow. It's, it's and you can't expensive. sell a forty-dollar cake and make five dollars off of it, and that's not even counting the hours you've spent making it. No. So, so just that was up. one of the reasons that that we decided, besides yeah. the fact that we just didn't have time. Yeah. So we would love to. I would love to. Oh goodness, reading some. I'm still reading on those birthday cards. And reading some of them, it just makes me want to hug your neck so bad. I just want to do more than just say thank you. I just, and I wished it was where that we could meet a lot of you. So. We, we are people persons. If y'all yeah. people, people, if y'all didn't know that already, we love to talk, we love to meet people, and we'd love to meet every single one of y'all if we possibly could. Um, and hopefully one of these days we will get to meet a lot more people. Yeah. I'm, we're we're checking on it. Hopefully, if we have one between now and Christmas, it would be in this area. It would have to be, be yeah. In this area. Okay. Um, what's the difference between creamers and whipping cream? Uh, the difference between, between creamers and whipping cream? creamers and whipping cream. You think they're talking about coffee creamers? I don't know, but it's it's not the same. That I would think creamer is more like a can, like canned milk, evaporated milk. Okay, Isn't they it? could be talking about yeah. that. They they could be talking about that. Um, and again, uh, there's a whipping cream and there's a heavy whipping cream. And if you're doing anything that is a topping that goes on top of a pie, it needs to be heavy whipping cream. Yes, yes, it fluffs up better. Yes, it fluffs up better. And. Um, and, and, of course, like we mentioned earlier, you need to sweeten it and you need to put a flavoring of vanilla extract or something in it. And it the, doesn't take much powdered sugar. No. It's but, not like you're putting sugar in meringue. No, Very it's not. The one, uh, another thing that the powdered sugar does besides sweeten it, it stabilizes it. Mm -hmm. So it keeps it from deflating. Falling. If y'all have ever uh, put, like, um, I'm not a whipped cream person out of a can. I like to make my own. But if you've ever seen whipped cream at a get together mm -hmm. or an event and it where it, melts. it melted and deflated, uh, that's because it didn't have a stabilizer in it. 
Um, what kind of dressing do y'all cook at Thanksgiving? Oh. Cornbread dressing. Cornbread. It's kind of simple, but um, I just I, I cook my onions in my cornbread. When I bake my cornbread, I put in my onions a lot of onions and a lot of eggs in my cornbread. Yeah. And, and a eggs. lot of people, even even Mary and I do our dressing different. Mm -hmm. But uh, we grew up with cornbread dressing. Um, no offense to anybody who makes um, stuffing. It's just not something that that we no. grew up with yeah. and it's and I've tried to like it. I We're just don't like we it. Gonna, you've already done a dressing, haven't you? You've um, done a dressing? We are doing a dressing next month. Oh, okay. 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 Yes, we're doing okay. doing a dressing. And that's Linda's dressing. And it is delicious. It's just, I do it's, mine different. Yeah, we do, do ours different, different, different. And they're both good. Yeah. But we just do it a little different. Um, I I do my broth like Sister Jean Holland did. How's that? Do, do the broth and the onions and the celery oh, you and cook everything. All that I cook that together okay. in a yeah. big pot. Yeah. And that's how Sister Jean always does Is that hers. right? I don't do that. I cook my onions in my cornbread. What did, the reason for that and the reason for the way she does hers cooking hers and the broth is to tenderize that onion yes. before you put it in your in your dressing. It's Mama cooked her onion thing. in her cornbread. Yeah, she did. She did, yeah. She, did. she sure did. What's your favorite dessert? Favorite desserts. Oh, goodness. Um, I like I like cake, so I guess I like the co coconut cake best. That I like and, coconut um, cake, and I love coconut cake too. Um, I think probably my favorite cake would be cherry nut, which Mama used to make, or either German chocolate. My favorite pie is pecan pie. Yeah, I love pecan pie. Um, Our buzzer is ringing. I know. I guess we better get that. I like coconut pie, so I guess I like my coconut. <laughs> I and like. I tell you what. I like pine. I like that pineapple custard pie that Molly made. Molly made. It's a pineapple custard, and that is so good. And fried pies. We can't forget fried pies. Yeah. Wait a minute, Mary. Let me. Thank you. Yeah, I that looks good. All right. Uh, you can uh, show this, Linda. This is how I did the foil. I just wrapped it around there. All right. Now you can move the. You want off. to move the foil? Yeah. Just move the foil. No, this will be fine. That looks beautiful, Mary. All right. Okay. See? Isn't that gorgeous? And you can see and a I little jiggle. I didn't even test it, but I I guess I've looked at them enough to know. But it's, it's, uh, see, it comes out, that comes out clean. It's done. Yeah, it's, it's done. done. You could definitely and if you and if you do a little better job than I did of sprinkling that nutmeg, it would. You can even put the nutmeg in the pie if you want to, and then just sprinkle a little bit on top. I didn't put it. If, I did not put the nutmeg in the filling. But if you're going to put the nutmeg in the filling, put it in with your sugar, flour, and salt. Put it in with your dry ingredients and get it stirred up good. Because if you wait and put that nutmeg. In there after you put your egg and butter, it won't dissolve, and, yeah. and your buttermilk, it's just going to be lumps of it. But so I, this looks rustic, and I yeah, like that. So it's definitely it's rustic. No, I mean it looks, it doesn't yeah. look. I like the way it looks. Yeah. I didn't mean that. I know um, that. I know that what negative you mean. Think it but you really see, good. the crust did not get too done because we covered it up with the. And that's our buttermilk pie. And it will definitely have to cool off before it's cut. Yeah, it so needs to set it completely. It has to set. So, we, uh, I guess we, I don't know what time it is, but I, I guess we time We're it. used to our clocks chiming. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to get you a clock, little Linda. <laughs> she has one. I mean, a, oh, the chime clock? Yeah, but she don't have it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> she decided she didn't have no space to put it. Linda likes her walls just the way she likes They're them. They're decorated and beautiful. She didn't they have are. no space for it at the time I gave it to her. So, anyway. We, we love y'all. We love you and, and um, hope that y'all have a beautiful day. We'll be back again tomorrow at your house. Uh, yes, tomorrow. Right? <laughs> I've, lost, I've lost count today. It's just been I'm telling yeah. you. It's and uh, we're making a jelly roll tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Old fashioned jelly roll. Linda's famous jelly roll. So, so we'll see y'all at 10 o'clock in the morning Central Time. Have a wonderful day. Count your blessings. And Bye. we love y'all. Love you.